another five minute mystery. See if you can solve the case before the end of the program. Well, Alex, the more block will be all the first household. Two whole years, Jim. It just doesn't seem possible it's been so long. You and Dorothy married and with a place of your own. Uh, it's true. All right, only too bad you haven't taken advantage of the Bruce hospitality room soon. Well, I'm here now, and I intend on having a perfectly wonderful time. Now, here we are. Oh, what a charming place this is. Dorothy's probably on needles and pins waiting on waiting for me to get you here. Darling, it's Jim. Here's Alice. Jim, look. What, where? They're on the living room floor. It's Dorothy, dead. Mr. Brooks, I'm afraid you and Miss Manning will have to submit some, to some routine questions. I'll be happy to help in any way I can, Inspector. Thank you, Miss Manning. Now, Mr. Brooks, while we're waiting for some information I phoned for, I want you to tell me exactly what happened this morning. There's nothing much to tell. Both my wife and I were quite excited, expecting hours as it. Miss Manning here to visit us from Chicago. I was to wait until she called me at the office. And were you there all morning? Yes, until Miss Manning's train arrived and we came out here. I had written Miss Brooks to tell her that I would call Jim at the office as soon as I arrived. The train was an hour late, maybe. If it had been earlier, it may have prevented this. Hmm. Well, that remains to be seen. Apparently, Miss Miss Brooks was sitting here in this chair, putting red polish on her fingernails when she was shot from behind. The polish was spilled all over the carpet, and she was still holding a, the tiny brush in her hand. She must have recognized her attacker, and since... She did not die instantly. She printed these three initials here on the floor with the polish. D-O-C. D-O-C. I wish we could tell whose initials she was trying to reveal. You're sure you don't know anyone whose name would fit that? Positive. I can't. Oh, oh. Yes, Miss Manning? Can you think of somebody with those initials? Well, I, I, Doc spells Doc, and it's Mr. Brooks' nickname. Why? It can't be. Yes, Mr. Brooks. I haven't been called Doc for over two years. It was a nickname I picked up in school. My wife didn't like the name and never used it. No one in New York even knows me by Doc. You've got to be believed in me, Inspector. It's the truth. Hmm, well, we'll see that in just a minute. Hello? Yes, Grady? Yes. I see. Well, it's sewed up anyways. Thanks. Well, you both will be happy to know that our little murder is solved. Oh, then. Then it wasn't Doc after all? No, Miss Manning. It wasn't Doc. I'm arresting you, Miss Manning, for the murder of Dorothy Brooks. Why did the inspector arrest Miss Manning for the murder of Miss Brooks? A moment we'll hear. But first, this. And now, back to our mystery. How dare you arrest me? I was still on the train. Your train wasn't late, late Miss Manning. That phone call just verified the fact. You came out here, murdered Miss Brooks, returned to the station, and called Mr. Brooks to pick you up. That wasn't what really gave you away, though, Miss Manning. Too bad you didn't know Mr. Brooks was no longer called Doc when he you printed those letters on the carpet. The next time you leave a name as a clue to throw suspicion, you better get the name right. But of course, there won't be a next time, will there, Miss Manning? Join us again next time for another chance to solve a five-minute mystery.